Well, we are fixing to get ready here today. I ended up putting some alfalfa seed in the ground early this morning. We do have rain in the forecast, showers that is. It is extremely overcast right now. And we're not too sure what the weather has to hold for us today. We ended up getting everything chopped up that Andrew had merged here last night. Did 315 acres yesterday. Don't know how many acres we're going to be able to get done today before we get rained off. But we're back to a one-man merging team, huh, bud? So he has no acres ahead of the chopper right now, and he needs to get rolling. Uh, we did get that. Actually, Nate got that other merger going. But that is broke down again. That sets about a mile or so over there. It has the uh, tab on the, what's that, on the frame or on the head? One of these eyelets here on the frame fold cylinder is ripped off. I don't know if I'll get a chance to show you that here in this video, or if you'll see that in a repair video. But we need to get Junior fueled up. I do have a squeaking noise on the chopper. I don't know if I've got a bearing going on it or not. We do need to look into that. We've been keeping an, a close eye on that throughout the whole day yesterday. So we'll get fueled, get down to the chopper, which is just down the road. We'll get that cleaned up and fueled. I didn't do that last night because I didn't have my fuel trailer over here. So, we'll join up with you when we get to the chopper. Hopefully there's no bearing gone anywhere. Hopefully that squeak is just a squeak. Fuel kicked off and we're going to roll down to the chopper. Well, we are over to the chopper now. You guys have all seen this process before, so we don't have to show you what this is all about, but we've got to blow the chopper off before we can sharpen the knives. We do have a squeaking noise that you can hear when the cutter head is on and you're just idling. We pulled these shields off yesterday. We did have a piece coming over against the belt all oh, right right here that was coming over against the belt I thought sure that was the noise that we were hearing however we still had a noise there so I had uh, got a hold of Jake I said we're gonna keep an eye on the blower bearings the temperature on them there was only a 40 degree difference we were 180 degrees on this left side all the pulleys were the same temperature the right side was 140 and uh, we'll get this blown off and he was wondering if maybe we've got a, a knife pushed back on one side and it's kind of taken the back and curled it over into the um, side wear plates of the knife drum so we're going to open this up after we get it all blown off and uh, take a peek at that so we'll let you get a listen to that noise and uh, we'll get things going here now I had gotten a comment quite a long while ago we've got a 50 foot hose on this fuel trailer and you can see I'm parked a ways away I wanted to get the trailer on the level and somebody said that's a good way to wear out your hose you know why don't you park a little closer the hose is still getting used uh, you pull it out you you wear off a short part of the hose uh, it, it's no, going to be no good. So what are you supposed to have? A 10-foot section and a 20-foot section and a 50-foot section? So we're just going to roll with that. I got a phone call and I'll join up with you guys in a little while here. Okay, so we've got this all blown off. 
I've got to lift the. Uh, oh, I got to lift it up a little bit here. But before we do that, we'll go ahead and show you what this noise sounds like. Engage the cutter head. You know, I, I don't hear it. We'll go ahead and shut that off. It was a pronounced noise when uh, I was setting the shear bar, too. So we'll go ahead and let it run backwards, setting the shear bar. We're just doing this to see if we can hear that noise. Yeah, I don't hear it now. Oh well. Just let it go through its thing here and then we'll uh shove a bar underneath the um, blower shaft on each side see if we have any lateral movement that is the shear bar coming into the knife that's a normal noise and I do want to open up this knife case too and see if maybe there isn't or maybe there was a uh, knife dragon you couldn't hear it when it was wide open, just too much noise from the uh, rest of the machine. Yeah, we don't hear nothing. So, yeah, no noise today. Just, just go, right? See, if I had the radio on, I wouldn't hear the noise anyway. So, might as well wait until the problem gets bigger. <laughs> All right, I'm going to lift that up a little bit, grab that impact out of the back of my truck, and we'll open this up. All right, so we've got this all opened up. Um, we do have quite a bit of gummed up material here, and that very well could be the culprit. You want to hold that? I don't have my crayon with me. So we just have to mark this with a roll this around. the theory that it was it's gummed up there's another knife moved too so it might be just hitting on this edge um yeah so we might be short-lived as far as the weather today so um if that's the case we can address this problem uh, later on. Got a nick right there. That must have happened last cutting. All right, I'm gonna blow this off and um, get this closed back up, and we'll get the knives a sharpening. All right. <clears throat> Well, we are going through a knife sharpening cycle now, and that noise has gone away. I am not sure what exactly it is. I'm assuming that it's coming from one of the sides of the knife drum with a knife hanging over just a little bit, getting into that gummy material. We'll keep an uh, ear out for the rest of the day here. Um, now I should 
could be adjusting knives on this. However, I do not have the time. I put my time and put the seeds in the ground this morning. And I'm afraid if I dick around with this and waste time doing that, it's going to get raining. I can do it. It's important, but it's not as important to get them knives readjusted. We are going through a sharpening cycle. It's going to take them out of shape a little bit, but it's not going to hurt them yet entirely. So, we'll uh, let this get done with its cycle here. I've been sprinkling a little bit of water in here so that any of this driving dust uh, uh, is hanging out, doesn't catch on fire. So, um, we'll give a listen to this throughout the day. chopping we're working on the first load here right now and we have started about 45 minutes later than we did yesterday but we did some running around yesterday had to travel some distance back and forth I forgot a field my nephew had to uh, remind me that we had one particular field to do so I had to backtrack for that one so we'll just kind of see how she rolls. So far I don't hear any squeaking noise. I don't know if that noise is going to return later on here as things get warmed up or if some of that material that is on the side of the uh, knife drum, if that's what was making the noise. So I didn't get a chance to jog on over to show you guys the uh, uh, breakdown that we have on that other merger, but it's actually right across the road and we need to just keep on moving. So Andrew's in the next field over. He's just going to have to hustle here to stay ahead of us is all. He's right over in that other field there. Should do all right. We don't want him to get too far ahead, anyways, because we don't know what this rain's gonna do. Although, if we get light rain, it's better that it's merged up than if it's all laying out. But if we get a heavy rain, we don't want it merged into a windrow. Mike just about loaded and we've got Sarge on deck. got Davey loaded we're waiting for another truck here we had a shower move through a little bit ago and it looks like it's raining off to the west here now we've chopped 81 acres and now I can very faintly hear that noise if you listen you can hear it So, we're going to look everything over. We didn't exactly see anything wrong other than a knife out of place, but I didn't think that was rubbing. We did have everything gummed up pretty good. But being that we got a little bit of a rain shower here a little bit ago, it kind of cleaned everything up. So, that material you've seen against the knife drum... That should be just about removed by now. So when I set the shear bar yesterday, I could hear that noise just as it was coming off of the last couple of turns. So we'll go ahead and turn this on. And we'll get out and take a listen.
Yeah, so I don't know what the heck that is. It might be in this game right here. As you can see we are in the shop we got rained out we got rained out about 5 30 quarter to six and now it is quarter after six here thursday night and we're gonna try to figure out where this squeaking noise is coming from now that the chopper's inside we're either gonna hear it better or we're not gonna hear it as good so we'll go ahead and start to cut our head you can hear it so we're gonna put Andrew in the seat here and uh, put him in the seat and see if we can't hear this a little easier with him in here so gotta jump in the seat there and turn the cutter head on I gotta see if I can hear this Turn the cutter head on, the yellow PTO switch. dive into this we're gonna have to open this up and pull this well we can roll the knife drum around by hand 
See what that does. Ah, oh, yeah. So, we'll have to look into this a little more. Well, we've got the knife case opened up here, and we do have one knife that is knocked back considerably right here. And it looks like that might just be rubbing on that guy there. Um, the bearings on the cutter head are not warm at all. However, I need to go back through and feel the bearings on the idlers for this main drive clutch here. So we're going to have to do some figuring here. We're going to have to move that knife. Maybe there's another one because it's not quite a ticking noise. However, you can see that there's some material still left on this side plate. But this one is all wore off and it looks like something is rubbing slightly on that one. Other than taking that plate right out and trying it, that's one idea. Um, yeah. Alright, so we moved that one knife. Now we're just going to start this up. You're good to go. Nathan's up in there. up with you tomorrow on this one we're gonna have to take all these shields off remove some of this stuff I clearly thought it was gonna be that knife I was hoping it was gonna be that knife so 